So I, I like to play around and experiment with stuff and have lots of fun. These, I just want to go over a few different things you can add in that they're called supplements because they supplement your diet. They support. This is the support you need. And you need to find what works for you. And I'm going to address some of the major things you should look at adding into. And a lot of you are probably already doing some of this stuff. Uh, when we talk about nutrition, the key difference is most people focus on the macronutrients. Which are carbohydrate, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And those are important, of course. Especially if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight, you, need, you may need to look at those and increase or decrease. But really, nutrition, nutrition is all in the micronutrients. Now, there are a bunch of different kinds of micronutrients. You have vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, enzymes, hormones, probiotics, fatty acids, antioxidants, and amino acids. And there's probably some other things. A key thing you need to look at is certain ones of these are essential for you to have. Uh, to have good health, actually to live really, you need these. If you get depleted, you, your health goes in the toilet quickly. Other ones are not essential, but they're conditionally essential. If you're having a certain health problem, or you're looking to get some sort of result, it may be something you, you actually need at that time. So you don't want to just look at oh yeah, the essential amino acids. That's something that's commonly looked at. Or the essential fatty acids. Those are very important. But also the non-essential ones may be just as important for what you're trying to achieve. Another key point when we're looking at nutrition is the difference between deficiency and optimal. I remember when I was in high school going through health class. And the teacher was saying the RDA. If you get 100%, you're good. Anything more than that is just eliminated from the body than the 100% of the RDA. Well, the RDA is actually the minimum daily allowance you should have. For vitamin C, if you get less than that, you'll get scurvy. Anything more than that is not eliminated. You need a lot more. If you're trying to fight a cold, everyone knows you want to take a lot of vitamin C. You want probably like 5,000% of the RDA. For vitamin C. It's not eliminated, it's used. And with everything we're fighting against, you need a lot more. Uh, most people agree that the RDAs for many things are set too low as they are. You need much more than them. So, some of my favorite supplements magnesium oil. But touched on this. Mike Mahler promotes it a lot. Uh, this is from a company, Mineral Life, minerallife.com. Great company. Uh, this, all you do with this, it's actually a transdermal spray because they found that it absorbs better through the skin than when taken orally. And actually taking a lot of oral magnesium tends to uh, make you eliminate faster. Faster than you may want. Uh, people have asked like, oh why, that doesn't make sense, why would it absorb through the skin? When people bathe in springs, that's mineralized water. You probably absorb a lot of the other minerals in there too. They just haven't done a lot of studies on that. So if you can actually bathe, you know, instead of doing it in the uh, shower water with all the pollutants, but bathe in clean places, go out into the salt water, you feel a certain way after doing that. You're absorbing a lot of minerals through the skin. So you just spray it on your body. It, it's, they say it absorbs a little better where the skin is thinner, like the back of the knees and the elbows. Spray yourself about eight times, I do this morning and night. Magnesium is one of the major minerals for the human body. It is responsible for almost every single different function. It is used so much. And it's one of the key things for muscle relaxation. Very important to us. This, this bottle, I think, costs 15 bucks, 20 bucks, somewhere around there, and will last a couple months. Cheap investment, a lot of payoff for your health. That, People look at supplements and uh, especially in the bodybuilding world, they're looking at getting stronger, getting bigger. Supplements should be there for health, not so much for performance or anything. But by aiding your health, by supporting that, it's going to help you in your performance. Most Americans are supposed to be deficient in magnesium, actually. 95% of people, maybe Americans, maybe worldwide, are deficient in magnesium. That's why this is one of my favorite, because most people need it. So you get this one. Also, omega-3 fatty acids. You can get 
Fish oil, if you're buying fish oil, you want to make sure it's pharmaceutical grade. Don't buy it from Costco because that is not processed well at all. It's probably rancid in the capsule. If A way you can test with fish oil is taste it. So if it comes in capsules, bite them open. It should have a decent flavor. If it tastes really bad, that means it's rancid. That means it's actually going to do more harm when it's in you than good. Uh, cod liver oil, uh, one of the things that I've seen a lot recently is... Uh, a problem that actually a lot of vegetarians have, they're lacking in vitamin A and vitamin D. And vitamin A isn't just beta carotene, that's one form that isn't converted well by the body. Uh, you actually need vitamin A, really only comes from animal sources. So getting a cod liver oil, some sort of thing that has vitamin A and vitamin D in it as well, because 95% uh, of people are chronically deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. You also need the long chain versions. Again, only animals have these. Flax seeds, hemp seeds, they're good sources, but it's short chain, and the body is very inefficient at converting those over into long chain. Some people better than others, but most people it's like 3%. And actually, uh, the more unhealthy you are, the fatter you are, the worse you are at converting. So the people that need it more, you need to be sure you're going to use the best sources. Uh, that's expensive, but it's worth it. The yeah, the, uh, if you get a, That's it, it can, some of them, if you get a good source, it can cost, it's like a month's supply would be 40 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, it's also krill oil. Now krill are the little, they're like shrimp except much smaller, sort of. Uh, it's what whales eat. Uh, the blue whale has uh, the largest nervous system in the world, and it eats just, that's what it eats, krill. Just tons and tons of krill. Uh, so these are all the omega-3, and actually with this, it also comes with a potent antioxidant, and astaxanthin, uh, which is important for the, the omega-3 fatty acids because they are so light sensitive and heat sensitive, so you need this stuff refrigerated. Uh, a lot of times it goes rancid, even the good stuff, so you need to be very careful with that. Uh, supposedly with this, you can get by with a lot less because it's a lot more bioavailable and active. And I get this from Dr. Marcola. He has a bunch of great supplements on the site, as well as information. A bunch of really good information worth looking at. So, three supplements people should be on. You have omega-3 fatty acids, fish krill, the omega, or the magnesium oil, and vitamin D. Again, about 90% of people are chronically deficient in vitamin D. And vitamin D is actually mislabeled. It's a hormone, not a vitamin. It's necessary for all the hormones, it's, it's a precursor for a lot of the things that go on with the different hormones. Uh, with this, even people that are getting a lot of sun, uh, mo most people in areas that can't get enough sun. So you can get some vitamin D from uh, animal sources. You can actually also get them from mushroom sources. If you take dried mushrooms and put them out in the sun, they'll actually produce vitamin D that you can then take in from them. Uh, this is just a spray, bilingual spray, that you, that's not the right word, is it? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Sublingual. 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 Bilingual. It speaks two languages. It's a word for bilingual. So you just spray it. <laughs> you just spray it. Even people that get enough sun, like in Miami, because of the pollution, the air, and uh, bodies aren't as good at taking it in because of the toxicity, uh, they're chronically deficient in it. And vitamin D is very important. So I would recommend you start here with these three things. Just add these in, nothing else. If you're not already taking some of them, add in the other ones. I highly recommend doing that. And this is pretty cheap for a month's supply. I think it's uh, 15 bucks for this too.